Hello, good evening, and welcome to another edition of Blood, Devastation, Death, War, and Horror. And later, we'll be meeting a man who does gardening. Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Stench of Truth. The election is very close. We're on the last uh, countdown. This may be my last video before the election, uh, Sunday evening. Um, uh, I want to make a final point and a final plea to anybody out there who has not uh, made their final decision as far as who they're going to vote for. Uh, and that is to remind all of you that a vote for either of the main two-party candidates is a vote for corporate fascism. Not saying that third-party candidates are the be-all and end-all of anything, and it's not as though any one of them is going to win in this election. But if you have not made your decision yet, consider a third-party candidate for nothing more than just to tell the two-party system, which is really a one-party dictatorship of corporate fascist elite, to go fuck themselves. If that's the only message you want to send, then it's a valid one. But God damn it, one of these days, sometime, some way, somehow, if your vote even really counts, which it may not even count at all, um, the people will get fed up enough that they'll put someone into office who really does give a shit about you, your family, the common man, the average Joe. I'm voting for Ralph Nader uh, because he has a consistent track record and history of being for the average Joe, for the American family, and for um, the people against corporations specifically. Um, for many of those out there who are Obamatrons um, and think that uh, his getting into office is going to mean uh, turning the clock back on corporate dominance in this country, you're fucking stupid. And I'll just leave it at that. Uh, and McCain, of course, we already know exactly where his loyalties lie, but uh, apparently Obama has a lot of people fooled. I'm voting for Ralph Nader, but uh, whoever you choose to vote for, whether it be Baldwin, Barr, um, or even writing in Ron Paul, God bless you. Do it. And... Uh, and uh, I guarantee you that your vote will not be wasted because it will not be wasted in your mind. Um, there have been a couple of developments in, uh, in uh, international matters which cause me to wonder if the election is not already decided. Um, uh, I've talked about this before, and you've seen these things yourself uh, that indicate that there has been a shift in power uh, in Washington, D.C., away from the neocons and to a more, uh, um, into more the hands of Brzezinski and his crowd. Now, as everybody should know by now, Brzezinski is the, uh, the uh, mad scientist standing behind Obama, uh, just waiting for him to get into office. Um, and if you do not know it, you should know that uh, Brzezinski and his cronies are all Russophobes. Um, they all hate Russia. Uh, they always have. They always will. Um, uh, Brzezinski is an incredible Russophobe. Um, now I've talked about the shift in power towards Brzezinski and away from the neocons for some time now. Uh, but one final act uh, recently which may indicate that that shift has taken place and may be in its final stages uh, was uh, U.S. action against Syria. Now, um, Syria has uh, historically been close to Russia, but in uh, recent times they've uh, attempted to move closer to Russia and to strengthen their relations. And uh, any actions by the U.S. government against Syria directly uh, is a slap in the face to Russia. So there may be some more significant provocation going on towards Russia from the United States, and uh, this would indicate, as I've said, uh, the entrenchment of a more Russophobe um, foreign policy 
uh, within Washington, D.C. And having said all of that, that may indicate that the uh, election has already been decided and uh, abomination is going to be put into office uh, being deemed the anointed one this time around. Um, there has also been a little bit of talk about a supposed study that was done by the RAND Corporation which uh, uh, indicated that a means by which the United States could uh, extricate itself from its current economic catastrophe um, is for the U.S. to get into a major world war with someone. Uh, would have to be a significant uh, country, someone like Russia or China, and that this would uh, enable us to get out of uh, the recession slash depression that the U.S. is currently suffering under. Um, then as quickly as this came out, uh, it was revealed that this uh, uh, Rand Corporation study was in fact a hoax. Um, I don't think uh, I don't think it's a hoax, especially in light of well, I, I shouldn't say I don't think it's a hoax. Um, it may well be a hoax, but uh, it's uh, valuable to those in power nonetheless, and they've been put out as uh, a piece of propaganda. For what purpose, I'm not entirely sure because I don't know what nature of propaganda it is, whether black, gray, or white. Um, but uh, putting this in perspective with the recent activity with Syria and uh, the apparent move towards a more Russophobic foreign policy, one is left to conclude that the RAND Corporation study is put out as propaganda in order to give some backing and support to the idea of if it becomes necessary to uh, engage in some sort of uh, armed conflict with Russia at some point down the road. So don't be fucking surprised, especially after Biden's comments about uh, some huge international test of Obama uh, soon after he gets into office. This is all being orchestrated now. It's all being planned now. It may have been being planned for fucking years. But the point is that it's planned in advance. So if there is something coming, it may be in that line. And uh, finally, it should be noted that uh, October is finally over, and uh, October 2008, um, while certainly the future is unknown, but uh, October 2008 has turned out to be the worst month for the stock market in hmm, forever, ever, the worst month ever. I, uh, I do see continued uh, volatility within the market, but a continued downward trend. Uh, remember that the bailout money that was supposed to go towards fixing the economy is being hoarded and, uh, and uh, kept by all of the companies that get it, which is enabling them to take over smaller companies. In fact, uh, even the, the government themselves, is f uh, it, with National City and PNC, they, uh, they forced uh, the one to sell to the other in order to get bailout money for the new conglomerate corporation. So uh, we'll see more of this. And uh, as I've said before, it is the exact same scenario that played out in the Great Depression. So we're seeing a replay of that. So if you've not made up your mind, Tell Obama to go fuck himself. Tell John McCain to go get fucking bent. Vote for a third party candidate. I don't care who. I like Nader. Hopefully you like Nader too. Um, write in fucking Mickey Mouse. Anything but this two party bullshit that is nothing but corporate fascism. On the right hand and on the left. Thank you. Good night.